What's up guys, this is La Hamada Gaming here today. And today we're gonna to talk about backing up your GTA 5 directory. This is very important because when you're modding, things can go wrong and you need a place to get your original game back. So backing up becomes a very vital thing when modding. I have an automatic backuping schedule that backs up every day around like 9 p.m. And then after the month is over, I just delete everything I didn't need. First thing you're gonna do is open up your GTA 4 directory. So I did explain how to do this before, but I would definitely explain it again. First, we're gonna to go to Steam. And after Steam is loaded, we're gonna to go to the library. And then we're gonna go down to your GTA 4 game. We're gonna right click on that and click properties. After we click properties, we're gonna to go to local files and then we're gonna go browse local files. After we click on that, it's gonna take us to our GTA 4 directory. So meanwhile, let's minimize or X out of Steam right now. And then we're going to take this window and latch it to the right. I'm going to explain why I did that later. Now we're gonna open up our files and then latch it to the left. So now we're gonna talk about backing up. First thing is first, when you back up, you either are gonna back up to an external hard drive, which is preferable, or you can just save to another folder apart from the main GTA directory. So what I'm gonna do is actually do it from a different storage device. I'm gonna go on my SSD and then I'm just gonna right click and click new and I'm gonna make a new folder called GTA for backup. Okay, and then I'm just going to double click in there so I can have it open. So this is why I latched to the right and to the left. So the folder that I'm gonna back up is latched to the right over here. And then the folder I'm gonna back up to is latched to the left. And I do this because it's, it's an easy, drag and drop literally so what we're going to do here is we're going to highlight everything click control and then it's going to say copy to gta 5 backup so we're going to click that and then it's going to transfer all of the files into over here it will take a little bit of time for it to transfer but once it does you have a complete backup of your gta 5 directory it's very simple very easy but a lot of people don't do it and if you do not do this, you may have to completely uninstall your whole game and then download it again if something goes wrong when you mod. That is all for today, guys. If you like this video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and click that notification bell for the next video to drop. If you have any questions or any suggestions on the next video I should make, please put that in the comments. Until next time, guys, take it easy.